Are you caught today in the crossfire of a battle over words? Hmm. This is Vince Miller. Thanks so much for joining me. Our text today comes from Galatians chapter 5, verse 15. It reads, But if you bite and devour one another, watch out that you are not consumed by one another. So when I read this verse today, it gave me new insight on all the issues that Paul is trying to address in the churches of Galatia. You see, these churches are engaged in a civil war of sorts. They were biting, devouring, and consuming one another with their words and their opinions and their thoughts. And you know, sometimes conflicts and divisions can be very disheartening, especially in our family or in the church. And once they begin, they can quickly escalate especially if our selfish motivations take control. This is precisely why Paul in the preceding verses emphasized the importance of love as a motive. In addition, Paul's going to follow this and chase this with a new way to love in the following verses. But right here, we're reminded of something. We're reminded of the consuming and crushing power of words and you probably know that old saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, that's a lie. Words do hurt. They're weapons that wound, leaving lasting scars and permanent damage on relationships. In fact, when, when I was a child, I overheard my biological father say something to my bio mother one day in an argument. He was unaware that I heard it, but I won't forget it. I remember every detail of this day and that moment because what he said left such a pronounced scar on me. From his truck, he yelled back to my mother, I don't want to spend time with him. You spend time with him. And then he drove off. And those words right there hurt. They marked one of the last times that I would ever spend time with my dad. So give attention to your words today. Don't bite, devour, and consume people. Speak the truth but say it in love. And if there is something that you need to rectify, repent and rectify it quickly before a nasty wound leaves a permanent scar in a relationship with someone that you love. I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else and do something about it today.